from Isolation Sensation, Iron Mouse's inspiring journey. Y'all you know I'm an Iron Mouse fan, kind of got into VTubers to start of December after she won that award. So I'm, I'm interested to check this out. I haven't watched any of Rima Evenstar's stuff before. You know, give a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I have that starts off with uh, the anarchy the craziness. Just told me that. Iron yeah, Mouse's Twitch's most illustrious 100%. VTuber has not only captivated audiences with her meteoric rise to fame and joyful content, but has also played a pivotal role in energizing the VTubing community as a whole. But behind mm -hmm. the scenes, her journey is marked by an inspiring battle against chronic illness, showcasing her extraordinary resilience. Through challenges and obstacles, That's why she's the goat. Iron Mouse has proven that perseverance can turn adversity into inspiration. This is the story of Iron Mouse. It's safe to say Iron Mouse is a pioneer of VTubing. First of all, she began streaming in early August 2017 with a very unique and cheap setup. Before uh, so she didn't which this always makes me feel better because like, you know, streaming is I I don't want to say streaming is hard because apparently that's like a huge thing right now where streamers think that it's the most difficult thing in the world to stream. It's not. But like Growing is difficult, I should say. And sometimes it's hard. You know, you sit here and you stream and you have like, you know, zero people watching, one person, two people. Like, those people are the goats. They're amazing. That's why I love you guys. But like, sometimes it's hard and it, it does drain on you. But like, seeing something like Iron Mouse start off with that and like seeing where she is now, that's just, that's crazy to me. So yeah, it's just really cool. It's really inspiring to see, um, you know, Iron Mouse kind of start off and talk about starting off really to have like nobody watching really compared to the millions of followers she has now and like the thousands of people that watch her. It's just really cool the term VTuber had even really taken off. She didn't start streaming because she wanted to be a VTuber. She used a VTuber avatar to be able to stream. You see, Iron Mouse has been living with a chronic illness called CVID. CVID, or Common Variable Immune Deficiency, is a disorder that impairs the immune system, leading to increased susceptibility to infections and often requiring lifelong management. When you think about it, CVID is the most common to have of primary immune deficiency diseases, but it's still rare. It basically extreme decrease, that's my issue. My issue is not that my immune system attacks me, it's that it doesn't know when to attack. Iron Mouse's original dream was to become a coloratura soprano opera singer, but- So it's, it's actually kind of crazy, like, I didn't really realize that immune deficiency disorders were like such a big thing until like this far before i even started watching iron mouse's stuff but like the start of, like uh you know 2020 when everything happened <laughs> and people were talking more and more about people who had like you know a few a immune deficiency disorders and stuff and i'm like oh man it's actually something that impacts a lot of people like it sucks and it's just learning more about like um what she has and everything it's it's just crazy it's crazy there's just so many people out there who suffer with this stuff and just still live their lives daily so it's it's I, I'm sure that um, and Neem will talk about it in her video, but it's definitely important if you can go out there and donate blood and donate plasma because people need it. Fate had a different path in store for her. Iron Mouse found herself largely bedridden and isolated from the outside world. She would lay day in and day out in her bed, requiring multiple oxygen tanks and plasma transfusions. How much does a uh, one bag of plasma cost? Depends on how much and the brand, but anywhere from ten thousand dollars to like fifteen thousand dollars. That's insane. Yet in the depths like, holy of her shit. solitude, she refused to succumb to the challenges she faced and decided to start streaming as a means to overcome her isolation. I've been pretty lonely my whole life, and I decided I wanted to do something with my life, and I didn't want to fade away, and uh, I started doing this. And uh, I feel like slowly through this, I've been getting my life back and I've been getting myself back. And uh, that's thanks to everybody. And it's not just everyone. And by every I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I might cry during this. <laughs> like, it's it's something that, you know, that I, I kind of struggle with because, you know, I, I've got like, um, it, it's it's nothing. I don't want to say it's a physical. It's it's not a physical thing. It's, you know, because I, I, I got like bipolar and... I'm like 99% sure I'm autistic too, but I really need to take a test. If I didn't get laid off, I would have been taking a test. 
the past couple of months, but didn't happen. Um, and then just like, you know, PTSD and a bunch of other mental issues because, you know, life just sometimes is rough for people. Um, but just like seeing how she's been able to do this with those feelings and everything, because you know, I grew up super lonely and like I, I have some friends and everything, but like. I'm really it's it's life is lonely. I've got the Internet and that's really it. So, yeah, I, I laugh about because I have to. Um, but just like seeing how she's been able to do this and like build a whole life and all the friends and everything she's made through streaming. It's really cool. I just really like that, and I'm just very happy for her. Like I said, it's very inspirational. Everyone, I mean you guys too, and everybody watching, and you guys that are here too, and... Uh, so thank you, thank you all so much. The streams were a way to push herself to be active. She gave herself the goal to stream longer and longer, and little by little, she did manage to hit those goals. At first, she was even reticent to use the term VTuber, as it was most commonly used to describe the likes of Kizuna Ai, who mostly used 3D technology and pre-recorded content as opposed to live streaming. Secondly, she didn't even start on Twitch right away. She was first a YouNow virtual streamer using only a face rig oh. purchased for $5.99 and a free Steam Workshop avatar paired with a pair of iPhone headphones as a microphone. This is also why I love citing Iron Mouse's example as how you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a VTuber rig to be successful. Oh, I God, started no. because I used face rig with like a uh, free avatar. Oh, I didn't uh -huh. even have my own. I just did it. Only I didn't even know what face rig was. For $5.99. And I used huh. a free avatar from the workshop. I didn't even have a microphone or anything. Like I used the headphones from an iPhone. <laughs> She then went on to create her Twitch and YouTube accounts on September 28th and 29th, 2017, respectively, but kept on mm -hmm. streaming on YouNow for a few months before finally making the decisive switch to Twitch. In Aww. December 2019, she revealed her first original L2D model designed by Katama, dubbed the Season 1 model. It wasn't until 2020 that the fruits of her labor began to truly manifest. With her signature high-pitched voice, a consequence of lung infection complications, she captivated audiences with a blend of wit. If I'm such a baby, why don't you breastfeed me? Humor. <laughs> yeah. Can hold my hold your wood. Eager. You can hold my wood. <laughs> genuine connections with her view. I, I like I just the humor and shit, man. Like it's it's stuff that uh, I it's humor that's like right up my alley. Like I love that stupid kind of humor and it's freaking great. Like it's just it's fun humor. And if you if you watch my streams and you, you know that I'm full of dumb humor and it's great. I don't know. It's it's just how life is, man. Dumb humor is the way to go. Like you say wood and I laugh at it. <laughs> also, like um, I, I watch I start watching uh, Sea Dog VA stuff, too, after watching Iron Mouse. And that, that's that's one good dude. I like that guy. connections with her viewers. Thank you for giving me your time because I know your time is valuable and you guys have a lot of things to do. It warms my heart and it's so nice that you guys take time out of your day. And extraordinary talent. When I look at you. Yeah, like what the fuck, man? Like this is insane. When she sings, bro, like that's just talent. That is natural ass talent. The onset of the COVID pandemic and the ensuing lockdowns directed thousands of eyes from around the world to social media and streaming mm -hmm. platforms. While the pandemic's impact significantly boosted viewer numbers at the time, I doubt it was the sole factor contributing to hers or anyone else's success during that period. <laughs> That's me now doing I that if during Lightning Amungus. McQueen was car -cum sized If Lightning McQueen was what? car -cum sized car -cum Oh! oh. Uh, 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 huh. Do the Cars characters have genitals? You know what? No, I'm, if I look that up, I'm sure I'm going to see fan art. I don't want to oh. see that. <laughs> 
indeed, the Roman philosopher Seneca once remarked, luck oh is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. This suggests True. that those like deemed that. lucky were not merely in the right place at the right time, but also possessed the talent and had undertaken the necessary preparations to seize the moment successfully. I believe this sentiment applies quite aptly here. It was also during this period that she began to fully embrace the title of VTuber. She also became a Twitch partner and revealed her 3D model, as well as reached YouTube partnership. This success allowed her to that's so cool dude that's back in july 1st like i wish that i like i just started streaming back in like you know 2020 like may of 2020 i think april or something i think april because like you know I, I lived alone during the time and i didn't really have anything else to do and it was the only social outlet that i had so i'm, I'm glad i got into it but like i wish that i had started watching like you know iron mouse and like other vtubers and stuff around the time because I, I think i would just be in a different place now if i watched more stuff but i don't know i also was just struggling a lot with my own life so i don't know if i'd have be in the same position that i am now or better it'd probably be better honestly that's just me wishful thinking but it's it's just really interesting to kind of look back on that time so it was rough uh rough fun times i kind of forgot what i was gonna say i was gonna say something about this but i forgot keep watching to better afford health care <laughs> which in turn enabled her to stream for longer hours oh. a significant my bad I wanted to talk about the luck thing that she was just talking about before. People can't just win or succeed in life off of just luck alone. No, you need to actually be ready for when luck hits you. Like, there are so many times when... Just, just look at how many videos out there, just, just as an example. You know, videos out there with, like, YouTube and whatnot, if they get, you know, go viral or something, and people just aren't able to capitalize off of it, it kind of just, like, falls back in this, you know, obscurity. It doesn't mean that it's not a good thing still like it means that they could have succeeded a little bit with it but you have to be able to like kind of grab that when it happens whenever that lucky opportunity happens for you you gotta kind of grab it and just m go with it like with my stuff recently you know i did um a couple videos um mid-february you know end of end of february about um you know v shoujo and like iron mouse specifically and those kind of popped off because I, I learned a lot more after getting laid off, kind of puts more work into it. But then just the fact of being laid off and just life in general kind of knocked me out for the past couple of weeks. So I haven't really been doing anything with that. And I know like yeah, even smaller moments like that, I look at it, I'm like, man, you know, I, I was lucky enough to have all these people actually, you know, watch these videos and be entertained by them. And then I'm like, I just haven't really been able to capitalize on that because I had to focus on my own health and brain and give it, just give it a bit of a break. Like, there are little things like that just you kind of think of, but I, I would never say that luck is a complete factor for someone's success. It absolutely is not. Significant achievement in itself. However, Ow. her greatest milestone was reached on November 24th when she announced her involvement with V Shoujo, joining forces with Project Melody, Silver mm -hmm. Veil, Zentreya, Niatasha Nianers, Fruit, and Hime Hajime. What's even more impressive is that Iron Mouse didn't just join V Shoujo. She was essentially one of its founding members. The idea was conceived during a call between Project Melody and the current founder, Gunrun. At that time, the concept of founding a VTuber agency in the West was groundbreaking, and their lineups consisted of some of the most notable VTuber Twitch talents available, a truly all-star lineup. She assured her audience that her content and free-spirited style would remain unchanged even though she joined a corporation. And it has, which is dope. Twenty twenty one further cemented oh Iron Mouse's status as a leading VTuber, securing her spot among the top female Twitch streamers in October. <laughs> Me if I cosplayed as Iron Mouse. Just bald. Throughout the year, uh, she introduced various 2D oh, and God. 3D models, each with a unique backstories and teams. This practice would become a hallmark of her VTuber journey, resulting in a lengthy list of VTuber models. But hey, we're not complaining. Yeah, there's so Keep many of them. VTuber models coming. Collaborations with notable VTubers and popular YouTubers significantly broadened her audience. Her charity fundraiser stream for the Immune Deficiency Foundation 
was a testament to her commitment to positive change, raising over one hundred thousand dollars. That's crazy. Additionally, her Just involvement badass. in Veils Volume Three, a major VTuber event in Japan, also attended by her VSocial colleagues, underscored her global influence. But one of the most touching moments of that year occurred during the Nianers elimination event in VR Chat, hosted by Ruffle Gator. It was there Ruffle that Gator. Iron Mouse and Nianers shared an embrace for the first time oh, i never saw that emotion and tears that's so adorable Despite the flaws that the vtubing community has remember that it is through its innovative format and technology that a bedridden girl was enabled to experience the joy of hugging Aww. her friend for the first time it's adorable Iron Mouse continued her My journey heart. through 2022 with significant milestones and expensive growth she unveiled a new l2d model angel form a personal favorite of mine and celebrated her her 6,669th birthday with a Sentai style 3D model. She embarked I thought she's on a been 6,669 six, 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 records. Years. Well, I actually never saw this either. That's pretty dope. It's time. <laughs> it's pretty badass, dude during which she achieved the status of the most subscribed to female streamer, the number one currently subscribed streamer, and the number three all-time most subscribed channel on Twitch. Yep, well deserved. She holds the record for most subs of all time for a female streamer. <laughs> goaded, goaded moment. Her historic charity subathon was not just a record-setting event, but also so I still have not been able to watch this video. I've had it saved to watch for like a few months now, but I just can't because I really haven't been in the good like mental state to watch it because I know I'm going to fucking cry because it's just so just ugh, just a lot. Sage. Also but demonstrated good video. her commitment to philanthropy, raising significant funds for the Immune Deficiency Foundation. This effort, coupled with a surge in subscribers and overwhelming support, propelled Iron Mouse to unparalleled success on Twitch. Mm -hmm. The subathon also led to frequent appearances on the popular subreddit LSF, as multiple clips of her, especially those showcasing her singing, went viral. This period marked her integration into the core of Twitch culture and community do you do you watch normal porn now or no <laughs> no i watch hentai Pretty cool <laughs> the important questions <laughs> yeah like i've been um you know a fan of asmongold stuff for a couple of years now watching his um when he was on iron Muscle show speak of the devil like watching that was actually really cool that dude gets a lot of a lot of shit because a lot of people just look at the negative stuff which people do often but the dude just kind of says how it is he doesn't sugarcoat anything which i can respect don't agree nobody's ever going to agree with somebody 100 percent on things it's never going to happen but like he at the end of the day he's just he's just a chill dude and it, i like his vibes it's pretty cool i haven't watched a lot of his most recent stuff because like, i gotta like catch up but i'm not a fan of like reacting to like uh trials and stuff i don't really watch that like he, he was big on the johnny depp thing and i'm like not big into watching that but i'll catch up to it eventually but still a good dude uh definitely business minded which is awesome Collaborations expanded beyond the VTuber niche, notably with popular flesh streamers such as Miss Kim, Flesh streamers, let's go. In his game shows, thereby further solidifying her presence in a broader array of events. Additionally, that year, she became the first VTuber to be nominated for and win the prestigious Content Creator of the Year Award at the Game Awards show. Um, the winner is Hell Iron yeah. Mouse. <laughs> Whatever you want. I'm here in my bedroom right now and I'm wearing my pajamas and I can't believe that I won and I just want to say thank you to Vishojo for uh, being an amazing organization and helping me out and thank you to all the amazing new friends that I've made and uh getting that golden peepo. Thanks mom, I did something with my life. Yeah! <laughs> and she continued to win several and I love that, like, it, she became friends with, like, Ludwig and all that through uh, Connor, too, through uh, Sea Dog, which is really cool.
several awards all throughout her career. However, with increased attention came both positive focus and negative criticism. Among the detractors was Brittany Venti, who ignorantly accused Iron Mouse of pandering to quote unquote horny parasocial men in her chat. Like, That's moved. Like, it's just something understand? about. The way she's talking to them and the way that they're communicating back has that very strong parasocial dynamic. Again, plus the whole bio of I'm on purpose trying to be an anime waifu. It's not because she's an anime waifu. Ooh, you're masturbating to me, right? Ooh. Don't forget to be a tier three sub. Even Who's this fucking idiot? Brittany Venti Yenti? Sounds like an idiot. I, I always hate that when people like, I, I just hate people like they that, man. Those jiggle mechanics. What the hell? She didn't have to have jiggle mechanics on the- Do real women's boobs not jiggle? Because I'm pretty sure they do, so... VTube model, that is- I'm just throwing out there. Pretty much for the- For the reason of making boys online horny. You- Oh, you mean this? <laughs> Venti also has a history God. of targeting VTubers as she has previously done this with Gargura, a point I covered in my video on Gargura. Seriously, she went after Gura? It was just a little fucking shark? The internet has a bunch of assholes on it. We're, we're gonna be we're gonna be real for a second. The, when people do that, when they like attack somebody for like no reason, one, it's mainly because of jealousy, and two, it's because they're just shitty people on their own like it is what it is i just i can't as, as an actual woman you can firmly do jiggle thank you i appreciate the act the opinion from an actual woman because I, I can't say that you know as, as a dude i'm like i can't speak for ladies but i, I was like i'm pretty sure they do Brittany also mocks Iron Mouse's high-pitched voice which as i've explained before is the result of a chronic illness the only that's really messed up man you don't make fun of somebody's voice what the hell very in they're very insecure about themselves like, um, just from uh, reading up or watching stuff on, on Mouse and everything, she couldn't talk for, like, a year because of her lung disease and, like, fucked with her vocal cords and stuff. Like, she can talk, like, she can force herself to have a deeper voice, but it's painful. So her talking normally is just, what? But it's also coming from me, who was made fun of a lot because, like, I, I don't have, like, a naturally deep voice, like, a man should so like that was something i was always made fun of for as a kid and that always just kind of like stuck with me don't make fun of somebody for their fucking voice like get out of here get out of here stop that that's that's messed up the reason why i started any of this was because i was lonely and because i was i was at a point in my life where i was the lowest that i could ever be i struggled so much in my life she even hints at doubting the existence of said disease which is a low blow even for venti here's what's so funny she told y'all no, 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 no. We're going to sit down and work through this, okay? You're telling me shit sat down here and told y'all I have a condition. Similarly, another content creator named Quinn69 made disparaging comments about his feelings towards VTubers, going so far as to claim that most VTubers fake their voices. And then he talk in this stupid fake fucking voice. Uh, oh my god, I'm a little VTuber. Oh, wow. The fuck? <laughs> this dude's an idiot. Laughing and pretending to be fucking 13. This led to Iron Mouse receiving an influx of hate in her chat. Despite this, she remained understanding and compassionate towards these individuals. Quinn later went live using his own VTuber avatar to explain that his comments were intended as a joke and acknowledged that the situation escalated into undue hate. Partly because no, he, it wasn't a joke. He was being an asshole for that, and then he realized that there are actually consequences to what you say on the internet, and then he wanted to kind of save face and try to fix it. Nah. Because it was posted on the popular subreddit Livestream Fails. As Iron Mouse's popularity grew, so did the numbers of her critics. Nonetheless, this never diminished the positivity in her stream content, or even the overall viewer experience. Her true accomplishment really lies in her resilience. It would have been so simple to give in to the negativity. But overcoming yet another obstacle is, in my opinion, an even more profound victory. Iron Mouse mm -hmm. had been working so hard. 
hundo percent so long that she was now able to reap the rewards of her hard work through her success iron mouse transformed what once seemed to be the impossible dream of becoming a singer into reality through her ventures with be shoujo she has essentially risen to the status of an idol she headlined three highly produced solo 3d concerts the first was her birthday concert featuring her original song waifu jam banger name and a second <laughs> one was a live 3d concert called candy pop explosion featuring her original song sour taste and the more recent one known as satan gang attack of the magic cloud the latter being a hundred thousand dollar production a concert themed around the v shoujo academy and showcased some of her original songs it also featured an original song created with bubby c dog's vtuber persona and include whoa wait booby is c dog va's vtuber persona no they're different people God, get out of here Included her colleagues Ridiculous. Project Melody and Ridiculous. Giga as backup dancers, along with they're, guest appearances. They even showed up separately in the concert. Like they're not the same. Insane. Also, this um uh the Attack of the Magic Cloud, which is such a funny name. I just love that name. That was the first like 3D um I don't know why I'm air quoting 3D concert. Uh, it was the first like VTuber 3D concert that I watched. It was an experience. <laughs> really interesting I, I don't know what i was expecting going into a 3d concert but i i don't know it just wasn't what i was expecting but it's also better than what i was expecting if that makes sense i don't know i plan to do a whole video on it eventually there are moments you call obstacles where you need to get your personal stuff together but those aren't stopping points true very true that's i like i like that that's profound words there are it means to reinventing yourself and pushing in new heights and teaching you to be a more compassionate person facts this is very true. There's no stopping points. You gotta gotta kind of push through that. I'm glad you're glad you're on the Iron Mouse train there, Ari. She's good people. References from Kason, Matara Khan, and their CEO Gunrun. The friendship between Sea Dog and Iron Mouse is truly unique and warrants a significant mention in this video. Their connection mm -hmm. began when Sea Dog invited Iron Mouse to collaborate on a video project where they would read up the worst hentai ever made. Interestingly, what started as a work session turned into hours of conversation, highlighting the genuine bond they form beyond their professional collaboration. This marked the beginning of a gen I, I i literally my brain just kind of zoned out for a second so i'm thinking i'm like have i seen that hentai it looks familiar i don't think i have though <laughs> and when friendship that would endure for years their chemistry is unparalleled with a back and forth banter that's absolutely on point i didn't feel any pressure in saying stuff and that was nice and so we kind of just spoke a lot outside of the streaming and i just thought that she was a really like interesting and, and unique person attention. I got you told me more about a uh, 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 disease because at the time I was like, I got oh, that I shut off my brain. Sea Dog has become an essential part of her channel, so much so that he's even incorporated her into her lore as Bubby. Their collaboration is so frequent that he even has a setup allowing her to join his stream whenever she feels like chiming in. Oh my <laughs> I love that that's a thing. Let's get the f out of me. I'm not gonna. I'm straight up chat. Through Connor, Iron Mouse has traveled all over the world to places she's always dreamed of visiting. Due to her immunodeficiency, she can't visit these places in real life, so their streams have a unique setup. Connor visits the locations on her behalf, and she guides him in a Ratatouille-like manner while they stream. <laughs> a this Ratatouille innovative manner. approach has taken them from exploring Makes Tokyo. Sense. Uh, whatever, I don't know, whatever you want, I feel like Chill. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> to visiting a Chicago flower park. Wow, look at it from this angle. Wow. <laughs> it looks so nice. See, the fact that like he's such a good friend and will like bring her around to these places. That that's that that is a that is that is a definition of a man. Like that's a definition of a man. Sea Dog VA is he's he's a man. Connor. I res I have a lot of respect for him. Like an immense amount of respect for him. He's a very good dude. So nice. Also, the first time I watched their uh, video of her, of him bringing her to like this flower park, that shit made me tear up a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Nice. It was very heartwarming. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you want me to blow your mind again? Yeah. All right. Maybe. Take a look at this. What the heck? How is this even real? It's like something out of <laughs> Minecraft. <pretty> cool. <laughs> Hold up. <clears throat> 
I'm gonna need a second here. Right? Like, this shit's All sad, right. dude. Let's carry on. To visiting aquariums. Oh. oh my god. Watching them at the aquarium was freaking adorable. Dude, yeah, it's it's super sweet. Like, or if you want to, I can send you some stuff if you need a good heartwarming moment. To go into Sanrio Pure Land. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to the stream. We're at uh, Sanrio Pura Land. When you walk in, mm -hmm. this is what you see. Walk oh in. my god, it's so beautiful. To attending Sailor Moon's museum. <laughs> yeah! Oh! I love that there's a Sailor Moon museum. A Sailor Moon museum with They're so big. Yeah, they're massive. I think it's bigger. Who's this one? <laughs> Heart run. Not spiral moon. That's the moon eclipse run. The crescent wand. I had one of those. Really? Yeah. And even going to the beach with Gunrun. Oh, I didn't know they went to the beach. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I got it. Not water. During one of her subathon that lasted over she went to a Disney. full I remember month that. in 2023, she took a break to do a 10-hour long Disneyland stream with Connor. Iron Mouse had previously mentioned that she had applied to become a Disney princess in the past. So mm -hmm. this was one hell of a nice way to go full circle. Nope, not gonna cry. <laughs> In so many ways, Connor and Iron Mouse's friendship has managed to create some of the most memorable moments on stream while fulfilling some of her lifelong dreams. And those moments are so beautiful because they're so genuine, so real, and so relatable. I'm just really glad they found each other. Anyway, W Connor. Facts. <laughs> that man is a walking W. Jerry, cheer up. No, don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. Oh no. British man hears emotion 2022. I can't. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crying. You can tell like he's trying really hard not to. <laughs> and like looking everywhere else. Yeah, yeah, I do the yeah. same thing. We'll get to do it for real one day too. So that'll be fun. Yeah. This is a preview, you know? Yeah, one day for real. A warm up. Yeah. It wasn't until I met Iron Mouse, who suffers from common variable immunodeficiency, where I knew exactly what I needed to do. I wanted to raise as. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man's done a lot of uh, charity. Iron Mouse didn't just defy the odds, she shattered them. Her story is an inspiration, proving that dreams can take flight, no matter the obstacles. She has the true underdog story. And I believe this is the essence of Iron Moss's message. To be a beacon for anyone who dares to dream despite the barriers. It's a good way to word it, man. Good way to word it. W video. W video. W Iron Mouse. W C Dog VA. W Connor. W Booby. That video was great. That video was fantastic. It was the first time I watched anything from, from Rima. I want to check out some more of her videos, but I shared the link in chat. Again, go, um, you know, drop a subscription, watch the video, like it, all that fun stuff, comment on it too. Like personally, I, I don't know where my life would be right now if I didn't start getting into Iron Mouse's stuff. Cause like the holidays for me are always a super lonely time. So like I was able to kind of watch her streams and everything last holiday and just kind of get through it. But like after getting laid off and everything this year, I don't I don't even want to say this year, just two months ago, like getting laid off. It's like if I didn't have that mentality of, you know, like not giving up and like, oh, hey, you know, Iron Mouse able to do all this successful shit while having to have all these obstacles in life like she's able to actually gotten far. Um, It's like, you know, I'm I'm still here for that. So it's good stuff. Oh, you got into her because you follow me. <laughs> good. The reach is spreading. <laughs> But yes, go go drop a follow and subscribe for uh, for Rima. Very good video. Uh, very very good video. I'll probably check out some more of her stuff. But if there's any um, you know, if there's any videos of hers you want me to watch, send them my way. Let me know, and I'd love to check them out. So if you're watching this on YouTube, the link is down below. Go check her stuff out right now. Do it, or else.